In Football Manager 2024, this position and role combination can change your starting formation from this into attacking like this. So here we are in March, you can see the back four, Dumfries, Pavard, Bastoni and Ovea Di Marco. Pretty standard setup, two midfield, then you've got your three behind a one. So at the minute it was set in a 4-2-3-1. There's some dead cool things that are about to happen though, as Di Marco gets the ball here, he's on his way up the pitch, so the guys can see, yeah, we're going to be attacking now. And you can see Hakan, who is our central midfielder on attack, the guy who's going to link up with our inverted wing back on defend, he's setting off. When he sets off, Dumfries sees it. Let's highlight both of them and let's see what happens. Off they go, Dumfries absolutely legs it into central midfield. Now Barella's got a new central midfield, defensive midfield partner. Hakan's on his way down here to provide a more attacking threat. Now he's sitting in that attacking midfield kind of right position because I've got him moving into channels. If we look further back, we can see we've got our double pivot there brought on by Dumfries. We've got the centre backs, we've got like a box back up and up here we've got one two three we've got a six strong attack so we've broken into a two two six all thanks to that combination of Dumfries and Hakan. Hakan moves Dumfries jumps in when he gets the ball now you can see Hakan is literally the closest to our striker Lautaro Martinez down the side it goes and now you can really see when we attack the full power of this system we've got six up four covering lovely like we've just seen this 4-2-3-1 standard formation like this quickly morphs into something different thanks to these two roles in combination as soon as Hakan sets up into that area there Dumfries sits into that area there new double pivot Mkhitaryan can see that we've now got Hakan and Cucurado there he kind of moves across there turns into this and you also got DeMarco bombing up there Taram starts to act like a bit more of an inside forward the whole system completely changes before your very eyes. That's why this year more than ever, it's good to think of start formations like this basically as your formation when you're out of possession. You're out of possession, they'll drop into this shape. But when you're into possession, that's where you can get creative and create something brand new. Now, here's another way to use it. Now, I've not used this formation myself much. In fact, this is the first time, but you can see the defensive setup, the back four across there looking good, midfield looking good with the lone striker. When we win back, You'll see the new formation we're going to morph into thanks to the inverted wingback rolls. I'll reveal the formation and rolls after this little set period of play. Okay, so we've won the ball back there with DiMarco. Bastoni's picked it up and the ball goes to Hakan, who's on the same roll. Now, if you have a look a bit further back, we've got centre-back one, centre-back two. And now we've got what looks like a three-man pivot. That's because we've got DiMarco and Dumfries both doing the inverted wingback defence role. In front of them we've got Hakan on central midfield attack and also we've got Mkhitaryan on central midfield attack as well. So what we're hoping to see here is a slightly less aggressive version of the first one. So we're going to look for like a 2-3-5 in attack. Hakan gives it up to Pavard. Look at those three in the middle. There is a magnificent triple pivot if you like. Different way to do things and because they're solid in there. You can see now that Hakan and Mkhitaryan got a bit of license to float about. Hakan gives it up and now if we stop it there, we've got our five attacking with the three covering the two defenders. Could be an interesting technique to use maybe away from home. Less aggressive than 4 2 3 one Hakan with a through ball. Lautaro absolutely bags it. So that is the formation we've started off with. It's just a simple 4-3-3, but we're using the inverted wingbacks. It's similar to what Tottenham are doing, but you could argue that their wingbacks are more aggressive. They don't just sit in the defensive midfield zone. But I like this version. So what happens is when Hakan and Mkhitaryan either set off or we get the ball in sustained possession, Dumfries will move alongside Barella like we saw, DeMarco into there, and these two into the 10 slot. You've got a completely new way to attack your opposition. So we had some good fun today with the inverted wingback roll on defend, combining up with the central midfielder on attack. We're going to discover more and more roles that go together nicely. If you know of any, put them in the comments.